Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. At a time when science and technology are developing rapidly, the chip industry has become a stage for fierce competition among countries. Controlling advanced chips is equivalent to controlling the leading opportunity of technological development. With chips in hand, the leading opportunities of technological development can be firmly grasped. However, China, which has always been known for its backwardness in chips, has surpassed in 2024. China's leading company SMIC has become the world's third largest wafer foundry and has received orders. You must know that in order to prevent China's rise, the United States has joined forces with other countries to strictly guard against any advanced chip technology and materials from entering China. So how did the originally unknown company break through the siege and turn defeat into victory? What is the secret of success? 1. The dark horse in the chip industry. SMIC was established in 2000, more than 40 years later than the chips in European and American countries. At this time, industries such as Nvidia, TSMC, and AMD have already divided the market share. However, China's chip industry has developed relatively slowly, and countries led by the United States have blocked technology. This has led to SMIC being able to survive in the cracks and take on some small customers to survive. However, SMIC's goal is not only to survive, but also to make Chinese chips stand at the top of the world. It's just that SMIC's wings are not yet full, and SMIC can only temporarily hide its edge. For a period of time afterwards, SMIC adopted a two-legged strategy. One leg is to increase production, and the other leg is to speed up research and development. If you want to survive, you must solve the market problem. Although the technology is not yet mature, there are still many customers. In order to facilitate customers across the country, SMIC has opened many production lines in various places, and various models of production lines are also fully equipped. SMIC also tries its best to meet customer requirements. This customer-first service attitude, coupled with excellent quality, has enabled SMIC to quickly gain a foothold. In addition, SMIC has also conducted special market research, refined the market as much as possible, developed many special processes, and won praise from many customers. With the existing market as a guarantee, SMIC's market share continues to increase. However, SMIC was not dazzled by the short-term victory, but instead invested as much of its profits as possible into research and development. When China's communications industry, automobile industry, Internet of Things and other technologies rose, SMIC immediately discovered the chip market. Benchmarking these industries for technological upgrades, keeping up with the pace of the times. It is worth mentioning that when the Sino US competition entered a white hot stage, the United States banned processes and materials below 10 nanometers from entering China, and SMIC became a thorn in the eyes of the United States. But the more restrictions it was subject to, the more SMIC realized the importance of chips and went all out to develop chips below 10 nanometers. Finally, in 2024, SMIC achieved the production of 7 nanometer chips, and SMIC's situation also changed dramatically. 2. Orders are received softly. After achieving mass production of 14 nanometer chips, SMIC has been ahead of many chip manufacturers. Even with the United States obstruction, SMIC rose to the challenge and let the world see China's speed. At the same time, many suppliers and demanders have been seeking cooperation with Sino Singapore technology. Especially Huawei mobile phones, which are facing the dilemma of lack of high-end chips after being sanctioned by the United States. At this time, SMIC stepped forward and produced high-end chips of the Kirin series to help Huawei overcome this crisis. Huawei's orders that once belonged to TSMC were successfully transferred to SMIC. In addition to Huawei, 
many industries at home and abroad have reached a stable cooperative relationship with SMIC. SMIC took this opportunity to optimize the management system, attract talents to join the company, and further enhance its competitiveness. With quality and service as a guarantee, while constantly strengthening its own strength, with the reshuffle of the world chip industry, SMIC stood out and gradually became the world's third-largest wafer foundry, and orders have been scheduled for half a year later. According to statistics, in 2025, SMIC's production capacity will reach 900,000 wafers per month, which is twice the current production capacity. Even many old chip companies have been left behind by SMIC, so they have lost a lot of orders. The most important thing is that since SMIC broke through the US technology blockade, China's chip design and manufacturing companies have finally gotten rid of foreign sanctions. It is entirely possible to achieve internal circulation through cooperation among companies. It can be seen that the rise of SMIC has given China's chip industry opportunities for development and created more jobs and tax revenue. But as SMIC gradually climbs to a higher position, it must also be more cautious than before. 3. Opportunities and Challenges of SMIC It is undeniable that with SMIC's current development speed, it is very likely to become the leader of international chip companies and write a myth. But in this process, SMIC still has a long way to go. First of all, the United States is the country that feels the most fear about the rise of SMIC. In order to curb the development of SMIC, the United States is bound to come up with more ridiculous practices. The biggest problem that plagues SMIC is still chip manufacturing technology. We have to admit that companies such as TSMC have begun to move towards 2 nanometer chips. Although SMIC is trying its best to catch up and continuously narrow the gap with the old chip companies. But this process takes time. SMIC can only mass produce 14 nanometer chips now and has never been able to break through the dilemma of 5 nanometer and 3 nanometer chips. Because the manufacture of this type of chip requires EUV lithography. But the United States strictly prohibits the export of lithography machines to China, making it impossible for 5 nanometer chips to come out. Fortunately, Huawei has developed automatic alignment quadruple patterning technology at this critical moment, which can help SMIC get rid of lithography machines, break the Western monopoly, and achieve mass production of 5 nanometer and 3 nanometer chips. But SMIC has not accurately answered when it can mass produce 5 nanometer chips. However, China has introduced incentive policies for chip manufacturers, and many companies have also obtained research and development funds in various fields. With the support of the country, I believe that SMIC can continue to bring us surprises. What SMIC needs to do now is not only to continue to study technology, but also to complete the orders in hand. What is more important is that the current situation is changing rapidly, and SMIC must always pay attention to changes in the world. Once the production capacity exceeds the orders due to special reasons, it will pose a threat to the entire Chinese chip industry. But no matter what, the growth of SMIC's orders is a good thing for the country and the people. Perhaps in the future, Domestic computers and mobile phones will completely get rid of foreign blockades. I believe SMIC is also well prepared to deal with this sudden challenge and opportunity. What do you think of SMIC's rise this time?